I said, I'm not on time. I'm dead. So I am. You're live, Dana. Hello, You're hello, live. hello. Hello, hello. Something looks different today. I don't know why. What is that? I don't know. Well, we didn't tell anyone we were going live, so it and might just Tuesday. be you and I talking to us. That's okay. Tonight. Maybe we'll just talk straight through. There you that go. So we'll bad. just entertain ourselves. Well, it's at this Tuesday. point, we are, Dinah. We yes. are. It's Tuesday, and it's September. Can you believe we're saying that? Mm -hmm. September 6th. It's it's delayed the I was Dana. just going to say that. <laughs> so you know what that means. Put your white away. Not yet. <laughs> I was just having this conversation with Lisa. Now I was away. Nowadays, it just you know what? I think white can be until the end of summer. Someone just asked me that question there. Yes. Kathy McNally, she's going out to West to Utah. To she, take white. she said, do you think I can take my yes, white pants? I said, Kathy, of course. You can 100%. Take my pants. <laughs> Not that Diana and I are fashionistas. <laughs> don't go. Don't go but You're going in my boat. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, it's one thing if the weather is cooler, then I wouldn't wear the white. But Utah, it's going to be nice. Right. Well, it used to be that, you know, years ago. After Labor Day. After Labor Day, know, day you don't know, wear your white. But now it seems like the That's weather is so we used warm. to wear handbags that matched our shoes. <laughs> Amongst other things. I'm dating myself now. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing well. Um, Where can we find you? Who are you? I'm Pam Sapp. You can find me as Pam Sapp on Ravelry and Instagram and Pam Sapp the Enzo on Facebook. Yay. What about you, Dinah? I'm Dinah. You can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. And for those of you who are new, my goodness, did I send you the message that we got? So I, touching. I think you did. I think you did. For those of you who are new, we are a knitting and crocheting podcast, although we do predominantly cover knitting. Right. But we both crochet. We Absolutely. Both crochet. And you can always reach out with your cro crochet questions or kit inspiration. You know what came up recently? Remember we did that great crochet cowl recently? It was like a, it was um. I don't even remember now. It was in the shape of a triangle. I don't know if it was like a like the shift kind of a shape. It was just a, I don't remember, but it came up in my pictures. I said, that was such a great cow. It was crocheted. That we crocheted? Yeah. Well, we didn't. I don't think we did it, but we promoted it. As a, I don't know as which a, one it was. It was earlier this year. Well, if you are new, <laughs> we do cover both, although we mostly cover knitting. Uh, we go in ebbs and flows, I guess, with crochet. Right. But we definitely cover both. And yeah, thank you for joining us. It's awesome that you're here with us. Hopefully we inspire you. On this you. Tuesday early evening. Yes. We try to continue to inspire you. I see a lot of people coming on. But let's say a quick hello, Pam. Yes, yeah, Steen is asking if I'm back at school. I am back <laughs> at school, Steen. <laughs> yes. School started last <laughs> week. It did. It did. It did. It did. Hello, everyone. Hello. I know this was like no announcement. We yeah. just like came on, but we're here. Well, we expect you to know yes. that if we're not here on Monday because of a holiday, we won't be here on Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> you She's don't know crying. that? Come on. Steen is crying. <laughs> How about you, Steen? Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, listen, there you go. They, and the beginning of school, especially for nurses, is so difficult. I was in the nurse's office today in this one. Are they already sick? Uh, well, not even that. They just have to get all their ducks in a row with their paperwork. And they put the pre-K, we have a, pre a preschool pre-K, and they put that nurse in with the other nurse. And she's got like post-its all over her computer. She's highlighting the kids, you know, all their information. And it's just, you really have to be, lot. yeah, you have to be exactly Making sure all their forms right are on in. target. Exactly. 100%. So what can we say? How was your weekend? It was fine. It was a very nice, relaxing weekend. I didn't do much. I did some, what did I do? I told you what I did. I did something on Saturday, didn't I? What did I do? Went to visit Daniel. That was said. Sunday. Went to visit my son. Oh, Saturday. Moved. I don't know. As, as, you know, as happens nowadays, his rent went up like $2,000. Crazy. <laughs> so, right? Danielle started looking. She did. Oh, well, he... He moved. Um, so now for the first time, he's on his own. He has his own apartment. It's a one How bedroom. How like that? It's, oh, you know, it's funny. We were talking about that. I, I think he'll be okay with that. You know, he's he, he keeps yeah. himself busy. You know, he, well, he likes to cook. He exercises. He goes out. He'll go out and take walks. He likes to cook. So the kitchen for him is lovely. But it's a, it's a very small apartment. It's a very small apartment. That's okay. So I said, you know what? I said to so my daughter, it's like, exactly. I said, maybe he'll stay there for a year. He doesn't have to renew if he doesn't right. want to. But, you know, I feel bad for the kids nowadays, especially the kids that li live in, in the city. And the city even now being like a Brooklyn, especially Brooklyn, it, you can't afford to stay there anymore, you know? 
It's, they live hand to mouth and they try right. to make ends meet. Right. It's hard. So I feel bad for them. But other than that, he's, he's doing fine. And um, what else did I do? I did something on Saturday. Sadly, what did I do? On I saw Saturday? you on your stories. You went for I walks went somewhere. I went somewhere. I went, I went over by, oh no, that was, uh, it'll come to me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't mind me. It'll come to me. I did. Oh, I went and met Kathy. Oh, I met Kathy on Saturday. We found a new bakery diner. <gasps> Another one. I'm it's hidden my away. Other love language. It's hidden away in Glen Cove. Okay. It's called St. Rocco's Bakery. Never heard of it. You would only know about St. Rocco's if you knew where it was because you'd never find it. Wow. It's so like it's basically you go local... off a road, a side street around, and it literally is almost in the parking lot. There is a church called St. Rocco's. Okay. It has nothing to do with the church, though, other okay. than that it must have named itself. Because Maybe it's right there. Location. Right. Yeah. But they have baked goods. It tends to be Italian. And they have even prepared foods. Like you could wow. get a rice bowl. You could get sandwiches. Like, I don't want to say Diane's Bakery, but they have prepared foods. And then they have baked, and they they have baked, baked goods. goods. Right. They had little tiny, like, um, small Napoleons. Yeah. Ancient Napoleons. Okay. Don't make me hungry. It's dinner time. We haven't eaten lovely. dinner yet. <laughs> so I did that. So we had to try a new place. I did that. And um, Sunday went to see Daniel. And yesterday, I went for we did nothing. What did I do? I went for a walk. I didn't do anything. Sometimes you doing know, nothing is nice. Ask me what I did. I didn't knit as much as I should have, but oh, neither I did I. Was busy. Well, you had you had Dinah had an injury. <laughs> Tell me about your finger. <laughs> I, I snapped my finger winding yarn. It's like winding it yarn. Was a, a, a job injury. I went to snip. <laughs> I went to snip the yarn and i snipped the tip of my and finger which scissor did you use i don't want to ask the big one or the the, the iron one. Oh, that one sharp Oof, that i didn't expect it to be that sharp but it pricked me like i mean i didn't stop bleeding it was crazy because you know a finger prick yeah. and it's just like the tip of your finger well, that's what keep, happens it's like full yeah. of blood right a holy mess anyway i did so not get blood impacted, on the yarn okay, well that's of course important <laughs> It impacted my knitting because I tend to push mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the needle. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like That's why I have a hole in my finger right there. So it limited my knitting time. Mm -hmm. But I was also away. You and I was beautiful busy weather, Diana. Oh, beautiful my goodness. Weather. It was lovely. We were in the Hamptons. It was the fabulous. Was gorgeous. Perfect. We waited until Monday. Man. It was perfect. It did, we didn't even hit rain driving home, which we was wonderful. Really? Good. We saw humpback i don't know if it was a blue whale or a humpback whale but we saw a whale in the water oh, nice. just walking on the beach oh, that's nice. dolphins it was crazy nice. like if you planned it you, you couldn't, couldn't see yeah it was crazy that's good. everyone on the beach was you know freaking out because they saw the yes well, they said this year that's why they've had more fish coming in land so it because was the water is cleaner and the, it's bringing the fish in well this was close like we were yes. on the shoreline and I mean, I'm not good with how many feet, but yeah, no, it was crazy. close to the shoreline. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say you'd swim out and hit the whale, but I will tell you a bunch of birds were in the water. So the whales put the whale, the dolphin, the actions going through, the fish are moving. Yes. The seagulls yes, are yes, feasting. Yes. It was crazy. Well, I know from watching Wicked Tuna. What's Wicked Tuna? <laughs> it's a show on, on, I don't know what state, one of these stations. Anyone watch Wicked Tuna? I love Wicked Tuna. That when you see the birds, when they see birds, it's so telling. They know the tuna are down there because oh. the, if there's a fish, there's fish, and the tuna feeding on the fish. So if you see the birds, that means there's fish down. There. Interesting, but they're not eating the tuna because tuna is huge. No, well, no, the tuna they're, is the big predator in that right, case. Right, right. Yeah, the tuna okay. is the big predator. <laughs> How do you like that? Does anybody else watch Wicked? I love Wicked Tuna. <laughs> I have to tune into that. Do, I've been watching the U.S. Open. Oh, well, that's good. It's too. all about the Open. It's a crazy, crazy season in the in the Open. Well, it's a lot of fresh blood. Really, I, had a long time. I can't believe Rafa is out. Yeah, yeah. just it, it's been fun. It's good. been good. You've enjoyed it. Yes. Anyway, okay. Are we talking about knitting today? Yes, we are. What Can are you I wearing? say one thing first before? Yeah. I posted on Instagram a few days ago that um, my daughter, Audrey, is a school teacher in, in New York City. Danny knows what I'm going to say. And um, I posted, she was talking to me about needing supplies in the classroom. And of course, it's New York City. So they don't have the budget that, you know, when you come to a place like Fort Washington, they have. So I posted she had an Amazon list. So I said, let me put it on um, 
my story, which I did. Oh, I missed that. And I have to thank, you know, several people that were kind. I don't even know who they were, quite frankly, because it doesn't come to me. It it goes to um, her. But I do know that two or three people messaged me, you know, saying that the teachers have to support each other and and uh, someone they tried to deliver something on Saturday, but the school was closed. So the Amazon lady was going to come back another day. But I want to thank all those that were kind enough to to donate whatever it was. That's so sweet. Because that is really nice. It is, you know. Cindy is saying post it again. She missed it. So I'm sure Aww. a lot of people would like to. <laughs> I maybe I'll do that this evening. I'll do that this evening if I can if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> Hopefully you can repost if I'm it. I'm not technology challenged, but um yeah, it was lovely. So thank you everyone who did that. And if I can post, I will. I'll try. But thank you. And thank you all for your gracious comments actually about my hair. Yes. <laughs> so guess what I didn't think of? An updo. Well, you could do that for the wedding. Right. Yeah, sure. So it wouldn't look unruly course, being gray. Course, I could try to keep an updo. So I'm still on the fence about dying, but we still have time. I still have, well, yes and no. I have to start playing. Well, I can't, can't play, play with, with color. No, no, I can't no. play with hair color. No, that that's for can. sure. That you can. No. All right, Miss Pam, what are you wearing? I am wearing the loop tee by, is it by the Should I know that? I'm not good. It's in the, um, it's in my project. Um, I use Lena from Sandscorn. Plain Needleworks. Is that who it's by? Yes. What was yeah. the person's name? I mean, that's their, their hand. well, it's in my, it's in my, um, it's on my project page and on my I get you the page, phone which name. is Pam Sapp. Um, I made it this spring and it's lovely. You can't see because I'm sitting, but you see this detail over here. It's got like a cable on the side, a cable there. And then it has a, should I turn around? I think down? you should, well, here's the picture of it if you don't want to. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. See the twist? There's but it does a, have, it's a cable twist down the side. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because the, the way back? the armhole, yes, this has got a sloped shoulder, but notice how it comes back over the shoulder, which is really nice. Yeah. Great, great detail. Knit. It's a great knit. It really was. Was that a three fun. needle bind off? Or yes, this oh, was a three needle bind off. Lovely. And I, I would tell you that I would, I was just thinking about this the other day, Dinah. It makes, it makes me think of these things, but I would knit this one again. Oh, that's nice. You know, there are a lot of things I would knit right. again. You don't say that often. No, I wouldn't. But no. this one I would because it was a That's fun really nice. It wasn't. And look at the way this just well, happens to. I wanted to tell them. So right what up. happens is on this particular, it's called loop. So what happens is, is you have the side cable. You're working up. You mm -hmm. do your twist. Mm -hmm. And then like you work twist. up. But you see how your hands go up? It actually divides and separates, and that's your armhole. Yes. That's your keyhole for the armhole Correct. opening. Lovely. And, and then this stitch that you're seeing here, you could follow it all the way down. And what's lovely, too, I don't know. It's like you, a built-in. I forget how I did it. But it's like a, it's a twist. It mm -hmm. was like a cable twist almost. Beautiful. But it just was done so nicely, and it sits built so in nicely. Cap, so you're yep. not picking up stitches for the yep. sleeve. Bottom up. In the Love round, it. and then you split up here, and it's done before you know it. I would make this again. It's designed by Hiromi Nagasawa. Thank you. Also, as plain needle works. I was right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See? Okay. And again, the information for how much you want. I didn't, I mean, I think I made this honestly with four or five skeins oh, of Lena, which is like hand. nothing. So, um, but all that's on my, my project page. And, Beautiful. Uh, that's what I'm wearing. What about you, Diana? What are you wearing? I am wearing the Miserina. It's designed by Caitlin Hunter. Mm -hmm. I use Moon Drake's Merino Linen. And I think it was two, two in one or three in two one. Two in one? I believe. I've got some yarn at home. I've got two skeins of the Merino Linen. I Do you? Like that. I would need a third color. I want to say it was, I'm going to tell you right now how many I use. Because I know we made kits. And the reason I'm saying it is because the kits that are on the website are actually for the Trelawney top. That you could make this too. Yes. Yeah. We we mm -hmm. had mentioned that you can double the, uh, the you kit could, could double. One, right? uh, exactly. I'm sorry. You're filling in my sentences. Thank you. So Diane is saying that you could probably make the Miserina out, out of, of the, the Trelawney. Trelawney kits. And so, Trelawney is T-R-E-L-A-W-N-E. Correct. By Tammy Gore. Three and one is what I... Oh, it's three in one. Yeah, but I think I used two. We did three in one because we sized up. Right, right, right. So um, in the show notes below, if you see Trelawney, it's because the Trelawney kit, which is this, 
Every time is, you hold it up, I see. What's the matter? The tone of the, the pictures. The, the screen changes. changes. Um, mm. That is designed, <clears throat> well, Trelawney is designed by um, Tammy Gore. Correct. But that kit doubles as a kit for the Miserina. So it's the same yarn composition. Same quantity yes. and yarn, but just, yeah. Um, I had done, I don't know if you could see it, but there's like a seed stitch. Seed Can you see stitch? it? Yeah, there's like a, a detail, like a pebble. But she also offers the design in a yarn over oh, does she? detail in the body. Does it so look you're the able, same? No, it actually, you could choose which one oh, you, you could do. choose which yes. one you want. Okay. And then um, one is like lacier. I wanted it to be more opaque. Right. I didn't want to feel like, want. that's cute. My blubber was hanging out. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm so bad. It's okay. Uh, so I'm going to just pull up the Miserina that so that you can see. Now, did you make it longer? Definitely. Made it longer yes, longer. I made it. Right. So I think she had That's done the pebble. That's probably you used. Well, I don't know how much you used. But I think people, I was able to get. Most wearing it that short. Let me see if I can. Sorry, guys. Here's one. Oh, that's the open one. Yes, yeah, so I you see could that. see. So she's wearing it over a dress, and you could see the eyelets. So like you have two options. Over. It's preference. They're both beautiful. Mm. You do you. So that's the Miserina by Caitlin Hunter. There you go. So that's what we're wearing. What, what are you with? Pam's got Whips. a lot. <laughs> well, let me. We almost called the name of the podcast was Out of the Woodworks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything came out. Well, first I'm going to start with what my most, you know, what I've really been working on, which is the Soldatna. Um. And I've got, I told Diana, I feel like the body's never going to end on this. <laughs> oh, you're nearly done. Stop. No, I'm not. It's got to be like. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's, I, I mean, this is about seven inches. And I'm thinking, I mean, she says to do like five or six inches. And then whoop to her, I'd be done. Can you imagine me wearing this that this is, short? It's like a, <laughs> it just come right under my, my bosom. bosom. Anyway, so I Your think I'm going to do three or four more repeats and then the ribbing. But the reality is when that's done, the sleeves are like nothing. So this is my colorway and that's my. my now, do you think you'll me. get the body, <clears throat> excuse me, the body done before or next? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Zoom. Yeah. We have our final zoom. It's about an inch to it's the six rows is about. So it's just a matter of. I'm oh. hoping as well. I have to wind my other skein. I ran out. Right, right. So anyway, that's looks pretty. Pam. Those are my colors. And yeah, that someone is inquired. I about think we, my colors? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, my yarn is Madeline Tosh. Um, so you want to share the colors? Uh, the dark color is Sinfully Decadent. Yes, I love that name. This, I can't say, ro ro Rocket, Rocket, what is it? Rocket Ante. Rock I hope I'm saying Rocket right. Ante. I think so. Glace Pecan is the gold, and this is um, Antique Glace. Gorgeous. And those are my colors. Lovely. And so that is my whip which will be done this month hopefully i could even well i wouldn't have we have our next zoom next tuesday so i can't have it done before next tuesday no but it'll, that probably, would have been a delight <laughs> it'll be done in two weeks i there would you say go. well since we're talking about soldana yes i'll share Show mine us yours, i've got needles very I've got pretty. needles coming out of the woodworks between all my projects that's pretty so I don't know if I got as far as you did, but I certainly did make progress. Mm. You're almost at the same spot as me, Diane. Yeah, maybe less, actually, because I ran out. Mm. Very but nice. there it is. Mm. Pretty, now, pretty. Now, where is my soldat? I saw it here earlier. It's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look different? I'm like, oh, no, did I do the oh, same? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's got the, well, no, those are like different It's basically colors. the same. This is gold. This is not gold. No, That's, it's peach. It's, it's peach a rocan color. Ante. It's rocan, yeah. But can you believe? Yeah. I'm looking at it. I'm like, you different know, this doesn't look this very is different. This is like a dark color. This is lighter. And this is a different color than this. I mean, close up, you could see that it's different colors. But yeah, but they, they still are similar. I should have gone with my neon palette that <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> Well, that's what they always say, Diana. The first Stick. color you pick is yeah. what you should do. Diana had, I don't even know what it was, but there was like me and pink yeah. and Pam's like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Nothing Pam would ever do. It's like those neons right there in mm. Allison's sweater. Yeah, but not as many. She has like three. No. You, you had two. Right? Didn't yeah. you have like but I'll wear pink this. and. I'll def like this one, I'll be able to wear. Yeah. Wear. You wear that I'll wear long. I mean, yeah. when you wear that neon, when would you wear that? I would wear it. Come on. Would you wear it in November? 
in a gloomy day. <laughs> anyway. So, so that's that our Soldatna that. progress. So that is the Soldatna. The next thing I'm going to show you is I was looking. Well, no, let's. See. Oh, I forgot to do finished object. Oh, you have one. Yeah, is it still on the back table? Oh, let me go get it. I'll get it. The, uh, yeah, I we'll think bounce. it is on okay, the Okay, we'll do it table. after. Um, I'm going to go get it though. Okay. The next thing not... I showed you last week, this was one I pulled out um, from this past winter that I, that Diner and I both started. And we, we got like this far and then we put it down. I told Pam after the last podcast that she inspired me. I might have to pull it out. So this I've tried to be, I've tried to be. So good. Look at how pretty it is, Pam. I, you know, I th believe it or not, last week I was down here. I was down here, and so I've gotten all the way up to here. Um, on my opus by Max and Sear. What is that? His name, Max and Sear. Yes, Max the Knitter. Max the Knitter. I knew there was another name. And I use the yarn Tinned T Y N D from Woolfolk. Um, and it's gorgeous. The, the colors I use. I want to say it's like an ash. I'm, I'm giving it Shibui names. Ash, tar, yes, fjord, <laughs> nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if I go close, you can see this is like a muted green, a darker gray. A, this is a silver gray. Beautiful. And then this is like a charcoal black over now, here. I have to say one thing that you might not be seeing on camera is the squish factor. Yeah, it is very squishy. This is wool folk tinned. It feels like butter. But then it does. <laughs> but because it's mosaic knitting, like this is 10 rows, but it's really 20 rows. Right, because you're slipping. It's very, uh, to it's me, tedious. it's slow going. Um, so what I try to do is, okay, if I sit down, I'll do maybe six rows, 10 rows. Um, but anyway, so it is, it, that's you got the back side. <laughs> and that's the front side. So I really am enjoying this. I figure if I do... I mean, I don't know if I can do a repeat a week because they are going to have more stitches as it grows. But if I could do a repeat a week, I think there were 11 repeats. Right? And I've done... Definitely optimistic in the no, beginning. No, I'm, I'm on my third of 11. So. That's, that's very good, Pam. So that's showing incredible. this... If you don't get bored looking at this, it's going to keep me honest to get it done. <laughs> Without putting it honest down, right, Diane? And that's again tinned. Tinned, they say, is what, Dinah? A sport weight, or they say a DK say it's a weight? It's a sport weight. It's almost sport. It looks like a finger in sport. I agree. I'll be honest with you. I agree. But anyway, what do you have, Dinah? I have my Lyra. It's still a whip. Oh, your Lyra? Well, you couldn't knit your fingers <clears> hurting. <throat> no, but my customers know <laughs> when they come in and they, you know, I'm infamous for telling them when they, have trouble reading a pattern and the words are on the paper you know sometimes you just need a break and then when you come back and you look at it with different lens a set of lenses mm -hmm. everything becomes a little bit more clear well it's interesting because i did not work on my lyra this weekend and when i came back yesterday i picked it up and all of a sudden hit me i realized what i did wrong and why the sleeve was flaring out so because the well, now I could talk about it since the down pattern down. is out. Mm -hmm. I think I just lost some stitches. Hold on a moment. Mm -hmm. So you're basically doing a ribbing. I know. It's okay. I'm just going to. I'm did doing it lefty too. No, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so to make, to make the knitting easier, what I ended up doing was you have to do. Well, tell them how that's knit. You're knitting sideways. Yeah, so in not, other words, you're, you're not, not knitting around, around right. circular. You're knitting perpendicular. Yeah, yeah, perpendicular to the knit. Mm -hmm. So in doing so, I tried to make it easier for myself by having one needle on the sleeve and then going back and forth with the second needle. Is that right? I was using two different size needles. Which, which is the one why you were going up and down with a circular? Smaller needle, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I ripped out both sleeves. I got them both done, but now I need to redo the neckline. Because you had the same thing going on. Same with the thing, neckline. yeah. Which is why it's loose. Are like you done it's loose. Yeah. Well, I didn't try it on because the sleeves uh, weren't done. But now the sleeves are done. Oof, this, this, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pop them up. That's so funny. <laughs> Whoops! So okay. here it is. 
I love this detail. I love this. The raglan. Well, it's very sharp with the high contrast. Yes, yes, so yes. It looks yes. really good. Very pretty, Daniel. So I'm super excited. I'm in the home stretch. God willing, next podcast, if I don't have Should any other injuries. Should be wearing it if you have <laughs> yeah. any other injuries. <laughs> I'm not having a hot flash. You have injuries. Well, you can you could go in the back and take a look. Yes, but I love it. Yeah, that's and that talk about the squish factor. That is very this, squishy. Yes, there's a little bit of cashmere. That's this lovely. is Art Yarns Merino Cloud. The yarn is on reorder. So let me just tell everyone, if you've ordered a kit and you haven't already received it. it should be coming in be, like next week maybe. Yes, right? it's because we were sold out. And they're working around the clock to dye it. There is a new knit along from Art Yarns, which is using the same ombre yarn. Oh, is it really? Yes. So in they September? Are, yes. It starts September. She originally said September 7th, but I'm not sure if she moved it to the 13th. And what is it? It's a beautiful mosaic sweater. I think it's knit. Oh, so it's yeah, knit yeah, in yeah. pieces. And I will definitely be mentioning it more as, as soon as I hear more information. Right. So. That's the art yarns. So if you see the kits available on the website, it's... You know what? And clear. even just buy a skein of it. It's so lovely. It's so lovely. I want to do something with it. I, again, I keep saying I love the rust color that it comes in. It's not even rust. It's like a red brown. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous color. Yeah, so, so everything rich. is on reorder. You guys mm -hmm. cleaned me out. Mm -hmm. um, this okay. was the LYS Day color, and it was after the hydrangea. Yeah. So that's it. That's paired with navy. So then... I decided, you know, the opus, you have to sit and look at the pattern, you know, and the soldatna is color work. So you've got the different skeins going on. I said, I have nothing that's mindless. You know, sometimes you're going somewhere, you just want to knit something. Yes, I just finished a mindless. Think, right? Yes, I need a new mindless. Oh, I got the wrong one. Oh, then I realized, you know what, you've got this and you wanted to, I was going to do like three of them, I said, right? But look how far I've gotten. Slow going. <laughs> so I had cast on a while ago the muscle bird hat. Beautiful. And oops, I saw stitches. No, I didn't. Okay, let me just push it down. Hold on. And um, anyway, so it, I think I have to knit like nine inches. So I it's picked it from up. Point to point. What was that? It's knit from point to it's like yeah, a football. Yeah, 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 yeah. It comes, yes, it's like a football. Correct? Yes. And no, do I have to hit nine inches or 18 inches? I can't remember now. I don't remember. I think it's 18. It's, it's 18, double, right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. And uh, there you go. So I picked it up and I started knitting on it. And you know what I use, Dinah? Again, you're knitting around and around. And although it's mindless, you want to know you're making progress. So I. Use oh my God, that's the COVID marker, the toilet paper. <laughs> Yeah, when COVID started and everything was closed, I don't know, where'd you get it from then? One of the vendors online, super cute. Oh, they had a, stuff. remember like toilet paper was in shortage? I need something dark behind it. Maybe I'll put it on the hat. There it goes. There you go. Yes, when you couldn't get toilet paper in the store, <laughs> somebody made a toilet paper. Uh, I had to order keeper, those. So Diana was kind enough to get me one. So funny. So I knew you'd appreciate that. I used my, Love it. My, Toilet paper progress keep it. Should never run out. So I knew, you see, now I know. Look what I did. I made progress, right, guys? I went from there to there. How nice is that? It's so it's, even if you can pick it up and do whatever it is, you just feel accomplished when right, I think we're right, having a hot right. flash. Sorry. So these I thought I had thought earlier in the year they'd be great, you know, knitting for a gift, you know, to make gifts. But they're time consuming. They but at this point, I think it's just gonna be mine. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Because, you know, how many times you have a, a skein of um, fingering weight yarn that you happen to pick up, you liked it, you saw a color you liked, you know. Or if you have an extra one from a project, you know, we always talk about how, what do you do with that extra skein right. of yarn? And most you know, people will say, oh, you have these kits. What if I don't need the extra yarn? You, you can always use it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you two things. When I was looking at what I went into my yarns that I had, remember the Jojo Land yarn? Oh, yes. I have like two or three Wait skeins a second. of that. What were we knitting with that? That We were doing an entrelac shawl with it at one point. Yes. Remember that? Anyway, oh, I so I have two or three is. skeins of that at home. So I thought I could make a muscle bird with that. But you can also do a shift with it. But you know what I saw? Um, shift would be nice too. You, could do a shift. you know who I saw? Um, I'm, gonna, it's not, I'm not getting any more. Murray, what's her name? Murray, Murray Wool Goods. Dry Wool Goods. Mur Murray Wool Goods. Whatever. Anyway, on Instagram, 
she's making one and you know yes. what she's doing she's I think six rounds she's, she's doing, doing different six colors rounds yes. of different colors it's so that. pretty it's beautiful I mean, they had leftovers. similar values, the colors. You yeah, know. she did a beautiful job. Beautiful job. I think it might have been leftover. I, I think she was doing left, event, was something it? like that. Or something. It was very cohesive. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. I saw really that. Cool. So I said, but again, I had already picked this up. It's not that that made me pick it up. I had already decided to pick it up. Not that that made me you know, that anything. Look at that thing. Sheep and wool. From what year? Can you read that? What year is that? Is there a year on it? It has to be. No. There's no year on it? 2021. There is 2021. Mm -hmm. It was last year. David bought it for us. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't go last year. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have good friends. Thank an you, ongoing, David. An ongoing whip, right? There you go. How there. about you? What do you have? I have a cast on. Ooh. I signed up for Hokies Knit Along oh, and I cast on the Z Wig. Oh, look at you. Oh, you got a lot done, Diane. Oh. I don't feel like I got a lot done. Oh, that but is it a is. lot. That is a lot. It's a lot. What you want to use then? This is the merino linen. It looks very nice. Um, I don't think I have all my colors here, but this is the first color that you I'm using. Have you come? I might. It's so pretty. You have to have them. <laughs> it might be my other bag. They are here. It's amazing how um, the this is is this is a twisted is this a twisted stitch thing? Yes. How it it plumps up the yarn. Yes. It just looks plump to I me. I love the shading. Guys? This is Merino Linen by Moondrake. It's for this first color. Blue sage? I want to say it's blue sage. Or is it just yeah, blue sage? Blue sage. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. So my next color. You got a lot of knitting done with your finger. Not really. That was very hard to Imagine do. Imagine if she had a good finger. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> if your finger was. Look at that. That's my <gasps> next color. And this one, I think, is this the spruce? Like, Just no, so you know what Eldritch. she's making, guys. That's what oh, she's that's making. Zivag. There you go. This is Eldritch. That's color number two. Which is number two? Eldritch? Yeah. Okay. Then I go into Spruce. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that fade. I'll hold it up. You Thank you, Pammy. And last but not least. Is that just I, gorgeous? Hold on. Don't show you. I finish it off with seventh floor yarn. Oh, look at that, guys. Is this the bomb? Just that is that is beautiful. this is luscious and it's called outer space and the reason diana when she picked these colors was we you know we knew we'd never have this made again. <laughs> no we never I snagged it. it yeah we said sometimes it's hard to find such a cohesive i'm not very good at like being greedy but this one well, i couldn't pass it. out other people got it couldn't pass this Same color way out. look at that so out of those colors this is where diana is right now she's on the first one when do you start <laughs> fading I still have to do the other pattern stitch. I'm not done with this repeat. Yeah. I don't think. No. So then I have to. Now do you're it. making me cast this on, Diane. See? <coughs> I was going to come. I was being time. very lazy this week. And I said, I'll go tomorrow to the store. <laughs> I said, I'll go tomorrow to the store. I, I actually went. admire the fact that you have, you've gotten me. I will tell you. What? Speaking of out of the woodworks, I pulled out my rift. Oh my There's goodness. An old one. Oh, I know. The one. yarn's <laughs> discontinued. That's how old it is. <laughs> um, so yeah. How much more do you have to do on it? Do you have a lot? Is it almost done? No. It's probably you know what you must finish. Far. You must I didn't finish. get far with it. You must finish with Felix. What are you up to on that one? It's pathetic. Do you have the sleeves left? Not even. I think it's not even a sleeve. Are you serious? Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna finish. The impetus is that if you do it, you'll have an FO. I know. Now, does it count if I knit Audrey's sleeve that I have an FO? In my book? Yes. I didn't knit the sweater. <laughs> I don't care. But I'm yeah. doing her sleeve, and if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have an FO. There you go. That's my daughter. God bless her. She's had this sweater for two years. Yeah, but you know what? You'll inspire her to start something new once it's but done. But now I'm being selfish because I don't. I want to knit on my own stuff. I don't blame you. Instead of her sleeve. Is that, is that bad? No. Yeah. It's not a nice mother. A mother would would do it excuse you're me, gonna guys. do it you'll be fine <laughs> excuse my plastic bag this is how bad this is it's well i had mine bag. in a plastic bag too i should have taken it out now this is a blast from the past how many years ago Jane? go back <laughs> how many years ago that was five? our first color five? work class five years ago i would say at least at least five years ago. it wasn't it was before the pandemic no when did the pattern come out it's when she released oh, that's it when she released it okay you up. pull it out and i'll look it up <laughs> 
This my is swan one. show. Look at my swan show. I know we've talked about it in the past, guys. Ninilchik swan show. And look at this. We uh, The yarn is like no longer around. We, you know, we have a few stains. Oh, Speaking of, yours is too. Well, oh, yes. Yeah, it just continued, right? <laughs> Last um, from the past, February 2017. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's five, five years, years ago. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, so it looks cockeyed. Are there short rows in this? Yes. There must be. That's why I'm holding it the wrong way. Whatever was, I can see, it's crooked. You had it right before. I had it this way. So this is the yarn. So that's, that's the, the back. back. Yeah, that's the back. <clears throat> there you go. Look those markers we have. It's <laughs> the back. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Look at that. Beautiful And colors. the body is going to be... Look at this halo. I have to say, I love this yarn. You know what reminds me of this yarn? This Felt is a tweed. Yeah, it does. It would does. be the same thing. That's the yarn I sent. Remember I told you for the hat? Yes. I said, was that, was that yarn? Oh. What's my body color? Is this my body color? The gray. The gray is my body. So that's my body color. Finally. <laughs> I did a good color. Oldie but goodie. So now you know why we said out of the woodwork. So I've decided since I'm doing the color work on the soldatna, I said, you know what? Just take it out. It's the season. If it takes you, even if I finish it at the end of October. It's perfect timing. I could you wear have it, it for November recess, 100%. right? Hundred percent. So I am committed to doing this, but I also am telling you, I'm going to cast on this either. <laughs> You're going to make me take that home tonight, Diana. And I will. You'll make sure bring I do out that. one of my whips, my old whips. Yeah, there you go. For We're going to start cleaning on. It. Now, if you <laughs> think that's all we have. <laughs> okay, let me just squeeze in my little whip, which I do need a new mindless one. I did. Yes, it's not a whip. No, no, no. Excuse me. It's an new, FO? Yes, one of my FOs. So I did another. It's funny. It looks oh, like it's color the same is color. So pretty. No, you this can is see like the a difference. red. Yeah. This is like a, a rich scarlet. I love it. So I did. It's funny. I did the smaller one. But when you I did, say the smaller one. They're two sizes. Mean? So they're two. They're two sizes. There's a small and a large. Width wise and length wise. Correct. Mm -hmm. I went the stitch count on the small. Mm -hmm. because and my, what's the length on that one? But the length is on the large. It is. Okay, yes. Right, right. And yes. how much yarn did you use? One skein? One skein. This is done in Road oh, to wow. China you Light. had left over. Had left over. So, so it's 159 yards full skein. And Diana didn't use the whole thing. I'd no. say you probably have 20 yards left over. I, yeah. But I think this would definitely suffice to do the larger. You think so? You know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. But. That's what I did. So if you are going to buy, we have kits on the website. Now, it's one skein. One I'm going to let them pick. You can make a bunch of them. I was thinking about it, but How I'm many do you have to make? Too many. Because if you're letting them pick, you have to have one for everyone. Would you make one for your son? No. This is not, you think, for the guys? I'm just, I wonder if you could mask and make it more, you know, do mm -hmm. something with it, make it more masculine. I'm not sure. I mean, so far I have two, but I don't know. I feel like these are too sophisticated. Who would you give it to Sophie? Danielle, Sophie wouldn't wear this. I mean, would they wear black? Probably not. I'd probably give it to other people. That. I'd probably give the purple one to my mother. You can give it to me? I'll give you this one. No. There you go. No, See? No, no, it's not no, hard no. to give away Jesus. knits. <laughs> only you get the red one. No, 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 no. Like, you wanted only... a rose. Well, I China. have an orange one, right? I have my orange yeah, one. Yeah, but that's different. The other whip that I'm going to take out, and the only reason I didn't work on it is because, you know, when you have to revisit the pattern, because I don't remember what I was doing, it's my hat. Which hat? The one from Andrea Mowry that she oh, does every year. Yes. I'm so happy I'm done with oh, that Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, that's another <laughs> one that I could do. I, I mean, it's mindless. It's really mindless. It's just slow going. Why Too is funny. it slow going? Because it's the... It's the um, what do you call that stitch? It's stitch the half, below. Yeah, it's the half knit and stitch below. Yeah. It's a slow going it's a stitch. Slow going, and it's a thin, but it's a beautiful it's hat. Like a size two needle, right? But it's a beautiful hat. It is a beautiful. Hat. Yeah. Not to say that it's not. So anyway, those are my. That's it for what I like. have no FOs. Those are my whips, and those are my whips and my one FO. And I'm going to take my glasses off because we have the light right on our face this time. You look very bright. Today. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. Kit time. New kits on the block. What do you want to do first, Diane? Let's do. Um, I think you should do that first. Okay. We talked about the Sandoval. We got a new delivery in of Spin Cycle. It's behind Diana, actually. I don't even have to it's hold right this here. up because yes, it's right back that's there. my sweater. Love it. It's designed by this bird knits. Now, I know that she was so excited when we put the kits up. I had tagged her 
and she had put all of her patterns. I think she had a fall sale. I don't know if her patterns are still on sale, but they were. So check it out. Annie Hass, otherwise known as This Bird Knits. It's this dot um, bird. bird dot knits. Mm -hmm. So that is her pattern at Sandoval. We made beautiful kits. We got a magnificent delivery of DK. Correct. And Dream State. And what Diney used in that one, she used Rios, Frank Oka in the gold, but she the burgundy that you see in there is the um, nostalgia. Nostalgia from um, uh, spin, cycle. spin cycle. Dream State. Dream State. Dream State. So that's how State. that's how we kitted it. Um, and we're going to show you some kits. We've got one right here, and it's a matter of fact, right? Yes. So this first one used um, a color from Madeline Tosh called Leopard, which is a beautiful dark shade of gray, right? And everybody loves gray. Repaired well, that's it, not true. Repaired it with hidden place for a little pop. Love it. Pinks, greens. Almost looks like there's a little gray in front of them. Yes, too. There's a little which gray is why I, yeah. yeah, which is lovely. I love it. So that's kit number one for the uh, sun divide. I think I'm missing a skein, don't you, Dan? Can you reach that back there? I'm supposed to have, I'm supposed to have five. Maybe one drop. Yeah, we'll fill okay. somewhere. We'll forget a runaway skein. This next one is um, uses the color IPA from Asylum, DK Weight Yarn, and we paired that with. So we were out of Frank Ochre, which is what I had used. This is the closest pairing that we could make if you wanted to do something in the like same dimes. vein. There you go. Nostalgia. So IPA from Asylum Fibers paired with the Nostalgia. There you go. Beautiful. That's no. Here, I'm going to hand this one to you, Diane. Why don't you show this one? This one is this called... This is the color that's in your top, isn't it? Is that your... No. Still that one? This is Pink Mist Smoke, oh, no. Smoke Tree, which is an unusual name, but it's a beautiful shade of pink. And then we have it paired with this magnificent color. Look at all the layers. Ooh, that's pretty. That's called Absolute Zero. It's a gorgeous combination. Mm -hmm. I love this one. You wouldn't think I would love this one, no. but I do like that. Yes. Right? This is gorgeous. This is called Amethyst Powder. And we have that paired with, is this Shades of Earth? I think so. Yeah. Shades of Earth. Yeah. Shades of Earth. Hard to read without my glasses on. Stunning. Love this combination. I love that too. This doesn't scream. It's beautiful, but you'll definitely see the color work. Love, love, love it. It's this is one. another beautiful combo. So it's funny. Amy was in today. What color did she get? No, she was she needed to do slips and dots. Oh, oh and she oh. admired oh, did this she? kit and yes. used it for inspiration. It gave her inspiration, mm -hmm. sure. This here is called Antique Lace, and we have that paired with overpasses. Look at that. Beautiful neutral, great with dungarees, really just fun. Next up is Moorland, which is a beautiful shade of green. And we have that paired with Hidden Place. And this Hidden Place is definitely different. It doesn't have as much pink. Look as at the that. Other Isn't that place. great? Yeah. It's That's getting a, a little too. blown out on the screen, but it, it, it's, a beautiful, it's probably a little darker. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Beautiful kit. Great colorway. Love, love, love this kit. This kit is called, um, I mean, this kit has paper, and we have it paired with Wololo. -lo -lo. Look at that. Ooh, look at how the colors look. I love that Stunning. one. Stunning. Love. I that love Wololo. -lo -lo. like That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful color. This is also gorgeous. Is this the thunderstorm color? Yes, oh, love it this. is. Yeah. This here is thunderstorm, which is like a really deep navy. Very rich navy. And we have that paired with, you ready? Truth Bomb. Mm. How awesome is that? I love Truth Bomb. Yeah. Such a great color. I love it. It's great. Nice bit of pop. Yep. Another fabulous warm kit. I love this one. This one is called Penumbra. Penumbra. And we have that paired with Salty Dog. It's almost the inverse of the kit that's on the mannequin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. very pretty. Yeah. So it would be the inverse. Very I like pretty. that too. Yeah, I, like that. I love gorgeous. salty jokes. Yeah, it's a that great color. colorway. This is beautiful. This is Moon Glow. And it's going to be a little hard. Moon Glow is a little bit lavender, soft. Pale. There it is, pale blue. Yeah. And this colorway is called Overshadow, which is 
the dream state, and it really picks up and mirrors the color the that's in there. Yes, it's stunning. The pictures on the website are a good representation. It's gorgeous. The colors, if you love this one, this one is really fun. It's this the is last called one. Favorite pair, and we have that paired with Stay Out of the Forest. If you look at Stay Out of the Forest, there is blue in there. Yeah, so it's the a great, green. but it's still a great color if you yeah. have that sweater. Fun. Okay, so there love you go. It. That's the send of all kits that we made up. Indeed. And there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What's next? Um, you want to do that? Yes. We figured we would show you. The z Rag kits are online. Excuse me. But we figured we would show you the kits since Hohe is doing her knit along and we may inspire you to cast one on. This is one of the kits. We have it with rose gold from Cocon. Is a beautiful pale shade of like a very soft lavender, mau mauvey lavender. Clam City, you may recognize it from Pam. Pam's lovely tea. Lovely tea. And then we have Cozy, which is another beautiful warm color. I love Cozy. And that kind of bridges steampunk. Cozy is like the color I'm wearing today. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> and that's a beautiful, beautiful. That's fade. a great. Yeah, yeah, because when we did these, we tried to really make them like a cohesive fade so that it wasn't looking stripey, you know. They should blend. Yep, they should blend. As nice does Hohe's in her z red wrap. So believe it or not, there are four colors there. <laughs> solid, me. speckled, speckled, solid, any which way. But they all kind of blend together. Right. So very pretty. This next one is, I don't know what the colors are. What is that? Down? Step. Is that step? Yes. And that is Oslo. Oslo. Step Oslo Heavy Metal mm -hmm. and, and chicory. chicory. Gorgeous. Oh, don't mind my fingers, but look what a great fade that would be. Very smooth, slow going. Right. And so that is another favorite of ours. We love that one. And do this next. Yes. Love this. My real house. Yeah. Start. Uh, well, we'll start with the lightest color. This mm -hmm. one is called Sherbert, which is a beautiful shade of pink. Um, and then we go into Lanyap. Velvet magenta, and we're going to finish that off oh, with look at rouge. That. What a great fade! Is that, that gorgeous, is. lovely, lovely fade. Love it. This one is it starts with the light one of boyfriend jeans, sunny, goes into clean slate, then Beautiful. it does moody blues. Love it. So, this probably most resembles Hohe's wrap and Hurricane. Yeah, Isn't this one gorgeous? sold right away, but we were able to make another yeah, one. I think at this point, these are all one of a kind. Yeah, they are. Don't right. think we'd be able to duplicate any of them. Right. How did you photograph this? This. this. Okay. I like that. that. Okay. This one starts off with Sunshine Day, beautiful shade of yellow. And this one is Little Baby Chick. Blending right into IPA. And we're finishing that off with Chicory. There you have it. That is a lovely fade. That's pretty. Yeah. For all you gold lovers. Correct. And this one is, it starts with scores, which is, oops, getting blown out. There it is. That's a good one. Thank you, Diana. Then it is smoke, a light gray. Then we go into stone. And then we go into coal. Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful gray <laughs> fade. All the neutral Ooh. lovers. There you go. Stunning. It's a great fade. Out of the park. And I'm not showing you mine. Because that's mine. Well, yeah, we can't replicate it. I don't think. <laughs> I think we can. <laughs> um. Anyway, so that's you've seen the our past podcasts. You've already <laughs> seen it. <laughs> um. So that's the Z Wag kits, and right. they're all available. Did you online. start the other one you wanted to do? No, lace and fade boxing. Oh, I no, think, I thought you said you started that. No, no I, well, I thought I heard that. But. No, I started um flows. I'm doing her short. Right, session. right, 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 right. You're going to be a pro at that, but when it comes to you. <laughs> right. right this is the second one i've done and then a third time will be a charm the third time is a charm and then the last thing we have to show you of course how could we not do the stephen west twists and turns knit along and thank we'll you knit along right thank you everyone for reaching out we were away this weekend which is why we couldn't make the kits right but of course we're going to make kits for stephen west of course of course, of course and it seems to be um what do you know about it Dina? that it's um You've got two main colors. They right. each, I think, call for about 780 yeah, 700 yards, and some yards, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly. 
and then one pop color, which is only requires one skein. Yep. It's going to come out in several clues. I think Starts it's usually October four. Sixth. Four clues. First mm -hmm. clue drops on the sixth. Then you have one October thirteenth, followed by October twentieth, and then October twenty seventh. Those annual big knit along. Uh, I think our kids are pretty good. Yeah, so let's show them. Okay. These were fun to make. So hopefully you guys are seeing them first. Again, one of a kind. If you're hopping on the twist and turn, love. This is <laughs> She's starting favorite. with my favorite, which is like <laughs> unusual for me, I think. A little bit, right? A little, a little bit, but not. Look at this fabulous color. This is Granny Square. Oh, that's not one of my favorite colors. You might recognize this from Pam's. Um, what did you knit in this? My Willa. Willa. And then we have that paired with, whoops, Hurricane. And these are all kits in Suburban Stitcher Sock. So it's a 75% superwash merino with 25% nylon. And then he asks for a single pop. And what we gave you here was oh. velvet magenta. It's pretty. That not gorgeous? Very pretty. I think that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. So that's kit number one. Or maybe not one on the website, but our first kit that, first we're one that we're showing you. Love this one. Now yeah. this one is, I'm just looking at the names. We have uh, March Hair and, oh, geez, and Spearmint. Go. Can you get the pop color down? Yes. Freshly Cut, I and think it is. And Freshly Cut is going to be the color Look at that. that pops. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, the green is actually much prettier in real, in real life. <laughs> I mean, when you see it in oh, person. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's getting blown out, though. I think the pictures online, if you look at the yeah. website, really knock it out of the park. Well, it'll be very that's nice. That's the color yeah. right there. Freshly cut. It's like grass. It is. It's exactly. Hence the name. Right? <laughs> yes. And you can do this one. Sure. Right? Another one of my faves. Favorite. This I really love this one. <laughs> you may have to do it. How many things can I knit? Mm -hmm. I might have to. This is just the bomb. Ladybird. I think I like this one better than the other one. Then which one? The oh, one? Then the one that yes. you said you liked? Yeah, this I, is Ladybird. I, I definitely see you in this, this one. This is a good one. Sure. And ready? Cosmopolitan. How mm. fabulous Love is that. that? Love that. Wait for the kicker. Uh, the chicory. <gasps> chicory. And if you notice, you color. see the color in there fabulous. just a little bit. Lovely. Love. This is gorgeous. This is also very nice. The two main colors are Clean Slate and Hurricane. And the pop is, I don't know what that is, Diana. What is that? Spear, uh, frost. Frost. Not spearmint. Can you see it? There it is. There that's go. a great kit. So that's another good one. For all you blue lovers. Hello, everyone. Thanks I, for joining. I happen to like this one. This is very Pam. <laughs> it's so good. It's also me kit. Yes, both you, of us. you would wear this. Yes, hundred percent. Two main colors are. Let me get them nice and even. Uh, this is what can I remember? Chicory is the gold, and heavy metal is the one over here. And Dinah's going to show you. Who the can one. guess what the middle color is? <laughs> the pop, coal oh, right in the middle. Look at is that. that gorgeous. Oh, it's like a tiger's eye. It reminds me of my um, penguino. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So Love there it. you go. That's another great kit. And how about this one, Diana? Oh, just giving me all the ones I love. This is, this is this another, is another one that one. you would do, yes. too. This is another one that you would well, do. You guys might recognize Steampunk from my lovely tea. Love it. We paired that with Chicory. Chicory, which is gorgeous. And, and the oh. pop. Oh. Gorgeous. Love that. Love that. Love That's that, really love that. good. That's a pretty one, right, Diane? Yes. It's here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you, let's make a swap. I'll give you that. You give me that. Give Can me I give two. you eight? <laughs> I don't know. Can I do I give you eight. You give me four. Yeah, That's not a bad deal. There you go. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have two spearmint as one of the mains. And we paired that with moody blues. Okay. And right down the center is this magnificent color. Thanks. Perfect. What clean is slate. Clean slate. Is that clean slate? Isn't it? No, Neptune. Excuse Neptune, me. It's Neptune. Say. Yep. Neptune. It's not. It's Neptune. Gorgeous. Yep. There you beautiful. go. Beautiful. Like, beautiful. Yeah. It's like beautiful water. Fade. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of water. It reminds me of a little mermaid. It's gorgeous. 
Okay, but now we also did some twists. Oh, thank you, Erin. We spent a lot of time on them. She said your twists and turn kits are the best she's seen. Is that right? Thank oh, God you. bless you. So then we made some out of Moondrake's Corey Dale uh, fingering. Yes, we realized that not everybody loves a superwash, so we went with 100% Corey Dale by Moondrake. Correct. These are, you know, we weren't able to do as many, but we have some. Who doesn't like toffee and espresso? With a little bit of mustard. <laughs> this is <laughs> like put some mustard in there, toffee and espresso. Yum. There I you like go. that. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah nice pop. Very cookie set. A nice pop. We get another one for you. Yeah. How about this one? Very pretty. So you'll find that these are probably a little bit more muted. Yeah. Because the colors aren't as vibrant, color, yeah. vibrant, excuse me, as the um the super wash kits. So here we have dusty pink with ash which is very soft and pretty. And then we flagged it with slate as the pop color. Now the ash is getting a little washed out. There it is. It's a beautiful kit. This one is blue sage and sage. Can you Looks like tonal. That? Very pretty. This one here is oh, I'm sorry. That's yes. Okay. And, and then slate is going to be your pop. Very, very pretty. Very that's pretty. gorgeous. Yeah. So that's another one. So these, I, how would you describe them? They're like warmer. Um, they're they're almost they're like toned down a bit. Yeah, they're, they're toned down. They're really Not everybody likes down. the bright bold colors. Correct. Not that all our kits are bright and bold, but well, yeah, they're I mean, more it's saturated. A different, different look, right? More saturated. This is gorgeous. This is Earl Grey, mm -hmm. the lighter one, and this is Blue Slate, and the pop is mahogany. mahogany. Stunning. That's a nice neutral kit. So there you go. And those are the kits for the Stephen West knit along. So if it. you're still looking, I know that a lot of people have already jumped in, right? And they've picked up a kit, snatched it. But, you know, you never know if you've been thinking about it and haven't. I'm uh, alarmed. Who's saying that? Right. I didn't see any of these kits on your website. Are they not there yet? Or yeah, are yeah. they all sold out? No. Okay. Which no, kits are you referring to? they be I'm looking right now we saw hope, them didn't we? I thought I did because I put the um that's like a good self check when I did the show notes there should be a link what below did you call it? the um MK? twists and turns you call it the twists and turns yes I didn't call it MK it's like I'm watching fireworks with every combination you hold up there Bernadette you are very sweet thank you the Coriadale ones are there and you go see them. They oh, Erin is saying lists. she sees them on the website. Yeah, I yes. see them. So they're two separate listings because the prices were different and they're different fibers. Yeah. So if you look up Twists and Turn, you'll see one that says, I don't know if it says Coriadale or Moondrake. It's a suburban sock. Okay, that is your fingering with Superwash in the Suburban Stitcher. And you'll see that the prices are different yeah. and there were price differences. I think it was $145. It's $5. It's $145, $150. Yeah. Yeah, so the first one that comes up is Coriadale. Just scroll below it, and you'll see the superwash underneath it. So Coriadale it should be is, there. It should be there. It's a non-superwash, but lovely mm -hmm. yarn. It's not scratchy or itchy. No, the Coriadale is it's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. Yarn. Definitely beautiful. And that's what we got to show you. I don't know if okay. there's anything else, Diane. No other tricks in the hat. <laughs> we did get a delivery of um, Spin Cycle, some Dream State and Dying the World. Yes. We're not showing it because, why? Because there are colors that we've had. Yeah, I don't think there are any new colors that we haven't had already. We got They're like packaged Absolute in... Zero. We got some Stay Out of the Truth Bomb. Stay, Stay Out, out of, of the, the Forest. forest right. Um, Hidden Place. Right. Those are all in Dream State. And then in Dyed in the Wool, I know that we have some new Stay Ready. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Rosy Maple, I think, was in both. A bunch of colors. If you follow me on Instagram... You'll see our live from Friday, and we did an unboxing. But the bags are recycled bags, and they're crinkly. They, they make, make a lot, lot of noise. noise. Yeah. So, I'm, I mean, we are getting, I know we have um, a fairly large order that's going to be coming in with a lot of new colors. Yes. As and well they, as the. They come um, sporadically. They don't always. What's that other yarn that we ordered this time? Oh, well, I'm Drake. super excited for Moondrake's new delivery. Did you guys see right. that repost? I didn't no, I didn't see it. it. You asked me if I saw it. No, I no, didn't, I didn't see repost it. it yet. It's um, a magnificent order of hand-dyed fingering. fingering. Is, it, is it solid? Some Both. 
Ooh. and I did no hair, dyed mo hair <laughs> to match. So we're getting into that season where we pair mo hair with everything. So yeah, we got a little bit of mo. Hi, mo Pat. Coming in. She said she enjoyed spending time with us. Oh no, you rec nice. she's recovering from COVID. Well, hopefully you didn't get it too badly. Well, that's not good. We hope you're feeling better. And we miss you. Oh, we need to talk about what our Zoom knit along. Okay. Not Zoom knit along. Excuse me. We're just going to do a knit knit night. So stay oh, tuned. Oh, that's what I was going to say. We uh, I wanted to talk to you about that. We, we have to really pick our Zoom pick knit night. Day. Yes. So we'll have that for you for next week. It How's will be that? in September. Yes, we'll do that. Right? Will it be in September? It's only, today's only the. Uh, today's only the. Um, we might give you not. We may not be able to give you too much. Well, we can, we can decide. We could decide tonight when it's. No, going I have to. the my family oh, from I Israel know. coming. Right, they're coming on the nineteenth. So I'm hoping that we would do it before the nineteenth. Well, today's the uh, look at the calendar. Okay, should we just pick one now? I think you should. Who wants a date right now? Look at that. Is this is this the post you're talking about? They're coming. We podcast on the 19th. They're going to arrive on the 20th. What do you say, guys? Wait a second. Can we do the 15th? Is this your, is this the post you did for you? Yes. Look at those colors. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Wait, there's more. Oh, I she know. did the individual ones. Yeah, and... you're in for a oh. treat. <laughs> These are colors from Moondrake coming in in Superwash Fingering. What is her yardage, do you know? I don't know. So her yardage is it might be a little bit different. Uh, I believe it is, but I'm not 100%. And this is the. And we also got, so see the dyed mohair that's all color? Um, yeah. Or can dyed, it's not solid. Yes. So we have matching fingering weight yarn for that as well. Ooh, look at that, guys. So is that coming in this week? I have a I feeling so. it is, right? A huge order are heading out. Yeah, well, it's heading out. Watch for their live unboxing. <laughs> she knows. So now we have to unbox it live. <laughs> the problem with unboxing so it live, if we unbox it live, it's not on the website. Right. I'll have to figure something out because we we'll do need to out. photograph. <laughs> right. We'll figure something out. We'll make you happy. Don't worry. So anyway, when is that's the last cow in? Zoom? The last cow that's Zoom just, is Tuesday, next a Tuesday. week from today. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that maybe we could try to shoot for, we try to shoot for the 15th. I have to get a calendar. Hold on. Let me bring up a calendar. Do you have knit night? September. I have knit night. Let me just think a second. Is this where we are? It's my brother's birthday today. I didn't wish him a happy birthday. It's a good thing we're podcasting. <laughs> happy birthday. He'll never see it. We didn't think he would see it. My no. brother doesn't even answer a no, text just... when I text him. I know. Um, we're on the 6th. So the what? You, this is the 13th. Right. You're saying the 15th. Mm -hmm. Does that work? I think I have a... Um, knit night. Knit night that night. Um, how about Tuesday the 20th? Yeah, but that's your company's coming in. Yeah, but they'll probably fall asleep early. I hope. When are they coming in in the morning? They're coming in in the morning. I don't mean I hope because... No, but they're going to be jet lagged is yeah. what you're saying. Do they arrive... Because usually they arrive early, early don't in the they? Morning. Early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Well, when would the knit night be, Diana? What time? Seven? Yes. Okay. And I think we should maybe keep it a little short. I don't know if I could do two hours. We've mm -hmm. done two hours in the past, but we'll play it by ear. Let's I mean, do you date. want to do it? Do you want to Tuesday, do it? We September can't do it 20th. Monday. We can't do it Monday, right? Because no. we podcast, right? Tuesday, September 20th. We're putting it out there. You want? We're putting it out for Tuesday the 20th? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Tuesday the 20th. Is that going to interfere with your knit night? Uh, no, the knit night is the 15th. I'm a, I'm, I, I believe my knit, you know, Knit night is probably. <laughs> I wouldn't have scheduled it for the 13th because I know that we have a Zoom. So I'm sure it's the 15th. Okay. There you go. Putting it out there. Join us. <laughs> the 20th. The 20th. Diana's going to put it. We'll put a, a thing out well, so you yes. know about it. You can plan. And because obviously you know about it if you're watching here, but if you're not, then you wouldn't know about it. Right now, in the past, they've been a lot smaller and we've gone around the room and shared what we're working we're on. We're not going to do that kind of format. We're just going to get together and... And, of course, if you have anything to say... Chit-chat. You know, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us. We know it's late. And it is late. I know that our families would love us to get home. So thank you for tuning in. Yeah, it's 840. All right. Good night, everyone. Have a wonderful a evening. wonderful night, a wonderful week, and we'll see you when.
We're going to see them Thursday, Dana? Hopefully. We believe we will. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great week.